What is the largest flying reptile? And by that I mean pterosaurs, which are not dinosaurs. Don't you dare say that around here. I will correct you immediately. They're not dinosaurs. They've never been dinosaurs. They are flying reptiles. Dinosaurs are a totally separate group of animals. Also, just so we're clear, the swimming ones, yeah, those are aquatic reptiles. Also not dinosaurs. Anywho, which of these flying ancient creatures was the largest? Well, if you ask most people, in the know anyway, they'll tell you that it was Quetzalcoatlus Northropi, a massive beast that lived during the late Cretaceous period in what is now North America, though they probably could have flown so far as to be nearly worldwide. These things were enormous, estimated to be over 10 meters, 33 feet in terms of wingspan. That's about the same size as a Cessna, a plane. They were massive and sometimes called the largest animal to have ever flown. But was it really the largest? Well, to begin with, Quetzalcoatlus as a genus is, um, well, it's debated. It certainly existed to be a thing, but the holotype wasn't actually properly described and diagnosed until 2021. There was even the suggestion that it may not be its own genus at all. Although these days it's generally accepted to be its own thing, and there's actually a second species underneath it, Quetzalcoatlus lasani, though lasani was much smaller than Northropi. But even with them being a valid genus, it's still hard to determine exactly how big they would have been. Body mass estimates for these giants are exceedingly difficult, because no existing species share similar size or body plans with them. So published results tend to vary like crazy. You could read 18 articles about Quetzalcoatlus and find 18 different estimations for their exact size. Their weight, for example, is all over the place, with some estimates being as low as only 150 pounds, which sounds insane given their wingspan, and generally accepted estimates are more around the 500 pound range, which sounds a lot more reasonable. The skull was also very narrow, with an extremely sharp and pointed beak, which implies that despite their size, they probably preyed on relatively small prey, which must have been prevalent enough to keep them going. But again, the size estimates are just that, estimates. And they have substantial competition for the largest pterosaur, and therefore largest thing to have ever flown, with what is probably another genus entirely, Hetzegopteryx, which only has a single species underneath it, Hetzegopteryx thambima. This animal was first named in 2002, based on parts of the skull and humerus. And estimates of this particular animal actually place it as potentially larger than Quetzalcoatlus. The wingspan could be anywhere between 10 to 12 meters, that's 33 to 39 feet. So on the high end of the estimate, it is larger than Quetzalcoatlus, but was it really? Well, we don't know. That's kind of one of the difficult things about this. For one thing, in both cases, these animals are mostly known from remains that are fairly fragmentary, especially in the case of Hatzegopteryx. And in their case, they were only known to have inhabited Hateg Island, which was situated in the Cretaceous subtropics within the prehistoric Tethys Sea. There were no large theropods in that area, so it's thought that Hatzegopteryx was actually the apex predator, and their skull would suggest this might be the case. Briefly, it was considered that Hatzegopteryx and Quetzalcoatlus might be the exact same animal. Their body structure is remarkably similar, to the point of being nearly identical. However, their skulls and neck are not the same. Quetzalcoatlus had long necks, as well as very narrow skulls, but Hatzegopteryx had shorter necks that were very robust, along with rather wide skulls, making them a bit distinctive, and therefore they certainly weren't the same taxon. But in terms of his exact size, it's hard to say. They were both enormous, but which one was bigger than the other? I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Again, a lot of the paleontological studies that have been done on them are doing just that, making guesses, and both animals were described relatively recently. And like I said, Quetzalcoatlus wasn't even properly described until just three years ago, as of the making of this video anyway. In terms of their behavior, it probably would have been quite different, judging by the skulls. Hatzegopteryx 
and probably could have hunted rather large creatures, whereas Quetzalcoatlus likely didn't do that to a significant degree. But in terms of figuring out the exact size comparisons here between the two, beyond saying they were both really, really, really big chungus, it's pretty much impossible. Unless further remains are discovered that could conclusively be identified, the proper wingspans being narrowed down. But as of now, which one was actually the King of the Skies is kind of an open question. I'd ask what y'all think, but uh, you guys probably have no idea either. Like I said, it's pretty much impossible to know. But what I can say for certain is that out of all the ancient creatures that we know of, the largest thing to have ever flown, the largest pterosaur, was either Quetzalcoatlus or Hatsagopteryx. It's one of them. We don't know which one, but it was definitely one of them. I hope that helps. It probably doesn't. I'm, I'm doing my best with what we got. There's not enough fossils, I'm sorry. And with that, a special thank you goes out to my Apex Predators, Arthur Roy, Metal for Life Guy, and Dr. Racer78. Till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fun farewell.